Hello? You ready? Hi. Ready? Yeah, go turn on the light. What's your name, baby? I'm LaShawn. LaShawn, where are you calling us from, honey? Orlando, Florida. Orlando, how old are you? 31. You are, what you do for a living? Um, I work at a call center, telemarketing. Okay, you have any children? Yes, my son. Here, Hello. Right? Hi, I can't see He's you. Baby. He's the one that's been telling me to come on here, y'all. He watches my show? Yes. How old is your son? He's seven. seven. He's been watching it with me, but he's got so he was like he'd be like, Mom, you should go on there, you should go on there, cause he see me watch it. So can I talk to him? Yeah. yeah. You want your mom? Okay, you looking for a stepdad? I already have a dad. Oh, okay, you want to you <laughs> want to find a man for your mom? He already had one. What are you talking about now? Oh, uh, never. What kind yeah. of man? Well, you want your mom to find a man? Yes. What, yes. What kind of man you want your mom to find? How 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 does he have to be? What is it? What qualities does this man have to have? Gotta be nice. Nice. Okay, we got you. We'll talk to your mommy. Boom. All right, let's get into your business, Lashawn Orlando Florida, thirty-one Car Center. That's your only child. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How? Um, what's your birthday zodiac sign? I'm a Libra, October. Libra. So let's do it. LaShawn, Orlando, Florida, 31, Cross Center, seven-year-old child. What kind of man? Have you ever been married? Nope. Okay. What kind of man you looking for, boo? Um, I'm looking for an honest man, loyal, God-fearing, um, yeah, uh, father, a father figure, but like, you know, in the household, his dad is not in the household, but, you know. We've been, he's a good dad, though. Not going to lie. Okay, he's a good dad. Okay. What's some deal breakers? Liars, cheaters, um, woman beaters, manipulators, narcissists. I mean, I can keep going. It's a lot. All of that. Oh, yeah, all of that above. That's my dad right here. Oh, where's the dad? He came to right now. Oh, he just Came into the house? Does he yeah. live there? No, he oh, doesn't live there. here. What's behind you? Oh my! Oh, that's your hair, girl. I thought it was a spider for a second. You're brave. Oh, I got so scared. Don't scare me. Ooh, child must have jumped out of my body. I thought it was a spider. Oh, so your your, your child father just comes over every now and then? Yeah, I mean he has a key. This is his place. This is in his name. So he come over whenever he wants to. Pretty much. Well, how do you think, think a new man will feel about that? I mean, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have to worry about that. He let me know when he come over. But he has the key to come over at any time. So he pays the bills there? <laughs> okay. The, no. Like, I was just in a situation, like, I'm kind of homeless. So he's just looking out. Okay, as he should for his child's mom. I think that's that's the way it should be. So moving forward, though, you don't think a man should be concerned? He don't have nothing to worry about. Me and my um, baby father not together. Okay. Okay. Does he come over all the time? Um, uh, every now and then, or you know, so to he get just his so, he just so happened to come over while we're on this live. Right. <laughs> Okay, so did I ask you what kind of okay, what's, you told me the deal breakers. All right, let's keep going, child. And, you, and your son blew up your spot, child. My daddy's right here. Oh, he tell everything. I ain't gonna lie. Kendra Kids gonna let you know, child. One thing Kendra Kids is. gonna do is let us know. All right, does the new man have to look a certain way? Um, I'm not gonna. Lie. I like I'm slim, tall. All right, let's see. Can't you can't. You slim? No, no, but like I uh, two big people together. I don't know. I I just don't like that. That's not my preference. Another big person. Then if, why can't you become the one that be skinny then? <clears throat> I'm a thick girl, you know. Not gonna lie. So we gotta be skinny. Well, 
so like <laughs> I just feel like a skinny person for me, you know, bed wise is better. Bed wise is better. <laughs> Okay. You know, this has been said on the show. This has, I, I think like attracts like in that way, but this has been said on the show. Okay. So does he have to make a certain amount of money? No, as long as he can take care of himself and then, you know, we can take vacations together, travel together, you know. Okay. Now, they said this. They want me to ask you further because you mentioned you were, were homeless. So they want to know what's going on with that. This is his space, you know? Like, uh, I was in a relationship. He told me to come move with him. I moved with him, you know, moving some stuff around. I found out that the dude was getting evicted. Like, we was together for a year, right? So I decided we can move in with each other. And then it just, it didn't go too good. Like literally, as soon as I moved in, um, that same week I moved in, I found the paper. And then me and him was just been bumping heads ever since. I tried to work it out. We tried to find another place, but I don't know. It didn't work out. So is this, this place, your child's father, he owns this place? Yeah, it's in his name. Oh, okay. But he lives somewhere else? Yeah, he has has his own apartment that's why he just like they gone now they went to his space to his spot they want to know why can't y'all work things out y'all this is 10 years <laughs> i'm not gonna front like if if it was up to me like i probably would give it a chance but it's not he has a girlfriend he don't move on you know and i respect that you feel me everything happens for a reason i just like the fact that he's a good father, he take care what needs to be done for his son. He look out for me as his baby mother. Um, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I appreciate your transparency. All right. So, when was your last relationship? Um, April this year. Okay. That was when I. That was the guy you were just telling us about. Yeah. All right. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Last night, I, I actually caved, I caved in, y'all, to my baby daddy after so long last night. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I was on a cup, you know, I've been going through it, and it's been almost a month and, you know, a week since I slept with my baby daddy, and I caved in last night. So he probably, probably in his feelings that I'm on this live tonight, but it's really, he's trying to hold me down. I need to move on. Like I said, it's been 10 years, y'all. I've been stuck on this man for 10 years. Give him the satisfactory to be with who he want to be with. You know, let me live life, enjoy, let me move on. You know, I'm stuck on him. I need to get off of that. <laughs> Before last night, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so y'all still are being intimate. How was a new and you? And he's okay. Y'all still being intimate. You said he's paying for where you live. How he can doesn't. No, 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 no. He doesn't pay rent here. It's in his name. So you pay the rent. Yes, I do. Well, okay. Let me just keep it real with you, girl. Any guy watching will be a fool to hit you up 
Your baby daddy got a key to your house. You just admitted to us that y'all are still intimate. Before you admitted that you were intimate, you said if you had it your way, you would be with him. But he moved on and had another woman. So that was the foundation of, you know. I just, like, it takes, it. I mean, I understand everything. Yeah, it may sound some type of way. But y'all got to understand, like, it's 10 years. It's not somebody that I was with a year, two years, you know, we was a friends for a year before I even got with him, before we even kicked it, before we fought a whole year, y'all, a whole year before I even fought this nigga in the beginning. So, like, we talk like this. That's not my best friend. I'm not going to lie. That's my best friend. I Listen, girl, I'm not trying to sway you. I'm just saying any guy watching from his perspective knows that your baby father is still literally in the picture Y'all still are intimate. He has the key to his your apartment. Why would he want I to date you? Like, if you know my predicament, like, once we talk one-on-one, if you know my full story, my situation, you will really genuinely love me for me. Like, I'm a good person. You feel me? Girl, <laughs> I have a good I'm going to love you for you. you. You still sleeping with your child's father who has a key to your That's home. I'm single. I'm not talking to nobody. If you give if someone actually give me the benefit of the doubt, that I can open up to them because I'm I'm closed off. That's the only reason why I'm still stuck on him because I closed myself off. If I give myself a chance to actually open up and talk to other people, maybe, you know, I would have a future with somebody else. You feel me? I wouldn't be stuck on him. Like I said, he moved on. Let me I wanna move on too. But I need that. That's why I'm on. That's why I'm on here, Kendra. I don't go out. <laughs> I don't hang with people. I don't have friends. When I do go out, I go out solo most of the times because I don't have time to, you know, ask for anybody. Do you want to hang out? Do you want to chill? Because I I'm not sociable. I don't socialize with a lot of people. You know, I keep to myself. So that's why I'm on here because it's hard. And then these days and these day and days, like dating is. Hard. Hard. They want to freaking talk on the internet and link up and want to have sex. Who wants that? Like, who does that? Like, that's not me. If you want to, if you want to find somebody to fuck, like, go look for her. That's not me. Especially the first week, first month. Like I said, my baby daddy waited a whole year. You know, <laughs> so I'm not saying you have to wait that long, but you know, you gotta let give me time to heal, open up. You know, I'm just not gonna give it to you. And that's fine. And then in his mind, he could think, "Why you're not giving it to me? How do I know you're not still giving it to your child's father? How do I know if I hold on? Let me let, let hold on. Let me just say a couple of things. How do I know that if we're together and we get into an argument, you don't resort back to a man that's never leaving your life because you have a child together? He's never leaving your life. So as a man coming into this space, and this goes both ways. This is why sometimes women are cautious of dating men." that have young children because baby mama, baby daddy ain't going nowhere, right? And if it's not clear that they're no longer an option, you can enter into a space that might just be for a moment. But hey, I don't have a penis. That's what you desire. Maybe there's a man that still wants to reach out to you. So why would a guy be lucky to be with you, honey? Because like I have a lot of ambition. I cook, I clean, I'm loving, like, that's why he's still stuck. Like, I just want somebody that... Did he stop? You told me he has... He, it seems like he has the best he, of both worlds. He has a girlfriend, but at the end of the day, he's still stuck on me because if you if you so in love or if you, you know, focus on that, you wouldn't come keep coming back, you know, to mess up whatever y'all got with me. You feel me? That's why... Well, he has, he's not he, messing it up because it seems like both of y'all are cool with it. She's if she know about it, I mean that's what I said. She might find out on oh, here. <laughs> you want her to find out? I don't. I mean I don't care. Yeah, like yes, I you do. You want her to. You want her to find out because you wanna. You want her to know that, like you said earlier, what do you expect? I'm the baby mama, so you wanted her to know. She gonna find out. So trust and believe. She gonna see this. Like Kendra. Like, I'm nervous, okay? So some stuff I said in the beginning about me wanting to be back with him, that's like... Girl, you sound like Kelsey in the damn Tory Lanez and Maggie Valiant. It's like, I had, it's like, I had, I had, it's like, what you had something and you know... Listen, your honor, fuck all that. I'm the prosecutor. No. What she said is what she meant. 
No, 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 is what's going to play. In okay, the I understand that, we're but listen. That in the we ain't okay, play that. No play that. Play that. that but show. listen, this is the last thing. This is the last thing. Yeah, yeah, no, this is the last sure. thing. You after you being been, been with somebody for so long, it's like you know how they are. Like you know, you're not gonna. You know, y'all not fit for each other. Me and him is not fit for each other. I love him to death. Like I appreciate him, but we just not compatible. Like no. We we don't say so much shit to each other. The sex is good. That's the only thing that's left. But other than that, we're not building. We're not growing. We ain't doing that. And we just have a son together. Like, I want to grow. I want to build. Like, like I said, I do a lot of shit. I work my ass off. I'm an entrepreneur. I do hair. I have a nine to five. I clean. Like, I stay making money. It's always money to be made. Give them your Instagram page, honey. I actually don't know my Instagram. This is new. It's what is it? It's it's Lou underscore say hey. I T S L U underscore S A Y E. Excuse me, H E Y. It's yeah. My Lou. page was hot, y'all. I just made this like three months ago. Somebody had my other page. I'm sad. Well, before the jury ends, would you like to say any final words before you get off the stand? Y'all, I don't know. This probably was funny as hell. I probably said some shit. But, like, for real, y'all got to really, like, if you want to hit me up, hit me up. Like, I'm oh, really genuine. You would date? I'm a good person. I would date. Okay, y'all, I'm 31, so I would date. Um, I like older men, 35 to 45. Do you want more kids? Um, it depends. Okay, it depends. Or right, it depends. All right. Does he have to be in Orlando, Florida? No. Could he have kids himself? Yeah. Uh, um, two. Okay. All right. Well, will you you keep us posted how it goes, honey. All right. All right. Thank you, Kendra. I love okay. you. Love you back, boo. It's Lou underscore S. H E Y. Say hey. I'm sorry. It's I T S L U underscore S A Y H E Y. All right. Bye, baby. Yeah. It's Lou underscore say hey. Bye. Bye, baby. Now, if y'all know what I'm talking about, Kelsey um, is Mega Stein's former best friend, and they're going through trial right now. Who shot? Mega Stallion, right? It's the who shot you. It's like the, the real life version of the movie Clue from back in the day. Who shot first? But the reason I called her Kelsey is because Kelsey had a videotape saying she saw Tori shoot Meg, Tori dragged her, all these things. And then when she got on the stand, she said she can't remember what she said. She wasn't being honest what she said. She can't recall. She didn't, she wasn't truthful. So that's why in that moment I was calling her Kelsey because she was trying to retract. But no, we're going to play the tape and we're going to go by what you said on the tape. Not after the tape. We're going by what you said on the tape. In this courtroom, I don't got no law degree, but I am the judge of this damn show. <laughs> oh, God. That was so wild. I did not think she was going to say she slept with her baby daddy last night. I was, if y'all pause it in the comments, Kendra's Cousins, y'all be peeping game before me. Jerome said, Kendra Cousins, y'all was confused with the, I was confused. I was not anticipating her to say all of that, y'all. I wasn't ready for it. I was like, you know, she over her baby daddy. He helping her out while she in a binds. I, I can re respect that. I can re respect the child. She was ready to fight the girlfriend. Then she said, it ain't that serious. Hey, Regine.